All right, my Coco friends, when you imagine two elementary bo age boys on a lazy Saturday morning, let's admit it, you're thinking, okay, they're, they're watching cartoons, they're playing video games, maybe sports. And not so much with these next two kiddos sitting next to me. The Linen Brothers will be out at the Youth Biz Marketplace this weekend in Cherry Creek selling their products. This is all part of a Young American Center for Financial Education. Liam and Owen Linen join us right now to share more about their entrepreneurial adventures. Good to see you, boys. Good to see hey. you, too. Thank so, you, Miss Plant. <laughs> oh, so sweet, Miss Plant. <laughs> Liam, let's start with you. How long have you been in business? Well, um, I've been doing the Young Entrepreneurs Market for three years now. Three years? And this will be my fifth use Bismarck. Very nice. And you're how old? Uh, 10 years you're old. You're both 10 because We're you're going twins. Up to 11. Okay, very nice. And and Liam, what lit the fire for you to get something like this going? Um, well, I mean, my mom always has been big on le us learning about uh, financial education. And so we just figured out that the Young Entrepreneurs Market had a uh, Marketplace, right? So opportunity for opportunity. you. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. So um, that's we, wonderful. We're also doing this thing in fifth grade this year called uh, I forgot the name of it. Um, I think it's Young Ameritown. Oh yes, that's it is Young yes. Ameritown. Isn't so, that fun? Yeah. yeah. We, so we figured out about the uh, Young Americans Bank. Oh. And then we learned that they had this market. Yes. And so we just said, why not we make some products to sell? Because right now we're actually just too young to babysit or. Right. Mow you want or something. You're very, very smart. Both of you are very intelligent. Oh, and tell me about your business. Um, so I have sensitive skin and a lot of the soaps that other com that companies make use a lot of chemicals. Mm -hmm. So but so the ones that actually are all natural are really expensive. So you made your own line of soaps that you could use and it wouldn't hurt your body and it's all natural? Yeah, and, yeah, and so I thought that was a great opportunity because there's no way I'm the person actually, I'm the only person actually looking for something like this. Uh huh. And so I researched a lot of recipes until I got the ones that worked well. And while I was thinking of other things that smelled nice and were all natural, I thought I got I created these ca I thought of these candles that were teacup mm -hmm. candles, and they're and they are unscent they're unscented because I didn't want somebody to like the cup but not like the candle or right. like the candle but not like the cup. Well, you thought this through. That is I smart. Scent, not like the cup. Take a look at these two, these cups. Where do you find the oh, don't move it. We're going to get the camera on it. Where do you find the china? <laughs> like the china that you put the candles in. Where do you find it? Oh, uh, we find them at thrift stores and like a lot of these are vintage. Some of them are sets, but some some of them are sets, but a lot of them are just kind of on their own. Gosh, I love it. And then I can use the teacup afterwards, right? Yeah, it's made of soy milk, so if so once it, it burns clean. Mm-hmm. So so it burns clean and then you have a nice teacup to use afterwards. That's brilliant. What about your tell me about your um, business here? So what I do is I make jewelry out of pennies. Mm -hmm. And so I can actually assign specific dates. Um so like these are all almost, yeah, these are all 2016 pennies. So if you have a lot of family members that 2016 is important in a year for them. Right. That you can use and. Uh, that is so smart. So those are bracelets. Yes. And keychains. And keychains. Oh, I, like I know that you have two children. So I actually made a keychain for you. You did And not. I'm pretty sure that they were, one was born in 1999. The other was born in 2003. How did you know that? <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's your so hug. You're so sweet. Thank mom you. to mom, come in here. You have two amazing boys. They're brilliant. Yeah. They're sweet, too. Talk a little bit about why entrepreneurship education is so important for your boys. Um, as the boys said, or I think Owen had mentioned, that we're big on financial literacy and teaching them about the value of a dollar and how you earn money, how you mm -hmm. save, what it takes to achieve your goals that you want in life. And the Young American Center here in town is just such a fantastic, amazing resource. And that when we hit upon the fact they had a youth marketplace, the boys really wanted to do that. They thought, right. you know, it's a great chance to make more than mom pays me unloading the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> so true, mom. And, so, yes. true. so true, mom. Yes. And the first market that they did, I think you guys approached it more as kind of a craft show and we'll go sell some things and see, you know, how much we can make. Yeah. But the spirit and the entrepreneurship and the ways kids approach, approach it is contagious. And, and it's the been, pride that and they the have. Pride. And it has been very interesting to me to sit back and watch how they have developed skills or concepts that 
they may not fully understand the economic grasp of, but that are sinking in and these lessons continue to build upon themselves. Absolutely, this is brilliant. All right, thank you for being on the show. Everybody look into the camera, wave high, thumbs up. I've been seeing you do it all day. Find unique <laughs> products created by youth entrepreneurs at the Youth Biz Marketplace. Shop tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Young American Center in Cherry Creek. Gifts for moms, dads, grads, and more. Visit yacenter.org for more information.